So the season has well and truly kicked off with a 1 0 victory here against Euro today. You couldn't get much better than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. As I say, when we left off in April, I'm not sure it's very good for the ticker on the sidelines. But listen, we knew when you were coming here, it's, there's no easy games in the championship now at all. Um, Newry come here, they were going to be quick, they're going to be sharp coming down from the Premiership. And to be fair, they showed that in the first 20 minutes. We were sort of trying to get the grips with them um, and sort of trying to get our shape and trying to get the people pinned down. But look, um, the effort and the commitment from the guys were the days second and then I, I can't praise them enough. They left everything out on the pitch. And when we were out nil nil, our goal was quite spectacular. Our low knee, that's the way you want them to be going. Yeah, well, look, AP's come in there this week. Um, he's only had two training sessions, and Thursday night he, he showed pretty avidly right from the start of that he wants to score goals. Look, um, big Michael's up there with him. We we'll hopefully try and feed him. Um, when the ball came, he's, he's nothing in his mind. Only to hit it, um, and what a strike! And there's that's what he's there for, and that's his job. But hopefully, we can look after him and help him for the season. Um, and wherever that takes a lot, I don't know, but he's, he's a great lad, he's got a great attitude. And he's going to fit in well with the group and, and he's, he'll hopefully buy into everything that we're, we're trying to do with every single player that's came on board. I think the guys who are new to the club now realise there at, at quarter five that, of what it, what it means to put in a shift and it's sinking in now that, that every team wants to beat Dundella. Um, as I say, I can't fault their effort. Okay, we didn't play fantastically well on the ball, but to grind out a 1-0 against Murray, that's a, that takes a lot of character. Uh, and we stood firm and thankfully they didn't get a chance to break us down. And you say, we can talk about the goal being scored there, but Hoggy pulled off a game-winning save right near the end of the game there. That's important as well. Yeah, um, Ginger's actually slagging him there, saying he should have held it. Maybe it was one for the cameras, but look, that's what Hoggy does. He's, he's more experienced than probably most people in the squad and he's he's a presence there behind the back four and at the end of the day he's there to make saves. He, he reckons he should have came for the cross but the first time but listen he pushed it over the bar and then he came and caught the corner so that's that's the wee game changing things that, that we were going to need throughout the season um, and also his delivery off the deck was, was first class as well so look we're delighted we won't get carried away as everybody knows it's a it's the second week of June and and um, it's only the first match of the season, so we'll try and get the boys iced up and rested over the weekend, and then we've got another massive game again next week and a long trip away to London. Yes, the long trip away on the road up the Institute. Now, we have a pretty good record on the road against them. Does that play into the players' mind, or is it just you just take it as it comes? No, no, not, especially not for the, the first half that we played up there last year when, when we should have been dead and buried, and, and fair play to the guys we... We made changes and alterations at half time and came out and won the game. So, look, it's a, it's a long trip. It's it's one that we'll relish because it'll be a good um, opportunity for a bit of bonding for some guys who, who are only in the door. And, and that's what it's all about being together. And hopefully, we can work hard during the week and prepare as well as we can for another massive test against Institute. Thank you.